So Sean, on the AJGA, they have the infamous red card. The red card. Everybody's afraid of the red card. But with your experience on tour, kind of reacting to the rules official or getting a notification that you're playing slow, I mean, how should you react to a situation like that? You know, it's often said it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with what happens to you. So one, if you're being, a red, if you, if you're being given a red card or it looks like you may get one, then you intrinsically need to look within yourself and wonder why you're playing so slow. Now, the danger is on the PGA Tour you get a bad time, but the AJJ have a much higher standard of playing golf in a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. okay? So, four hours. But we can watch a twosome on Sunday in a PGA Tour event playing four hours and 45 minutes. So, it's tough when you watch your heroes and they're playing that way, and, and so you can see how the kids will follow that. So, I like the fact that the, the round expectation is sped up. But what happens is, all right, you've been given the red card, I think the red card because the second one is a is a is a two penalty. stroke penalty, right? Yeah. Or a penalty. And a penalty, yeah. But the problem is then what happens, guys, is you start rushing because you've got one run red card. And if you don't get the next one that was just a one stroke penalty, there's a good chance that you will have affected your score by five or six shots. So you've been really slow, which means you're probably overthinking things. Okay? And then two, you don't practice all that time to stand on the golf course and take two minutes to take the golf shot. All right, that shows to me that you're either not prepared or you don't believe in your preparation. Okay, but the second point um, to that idea is that once you get that red card, you then try to really speed up, which is a different type of thinking now, but it's all thinking, it's useless, and you make sloppy bogeys or a double or that. So, to me, just try to work on a process and try to practice in a way when you play at a certain speed so when you get on the course you never get put in that situation. And, and if you do, I think if you'd really just keep up the same pace of play and get one penalty instead of causing five or six penalty you, yeah. strokes, um, you know, you look at it that way too. Yeah. But you know, the fact that PGA Tour players aren't really getting fined, um, you know, it all starts at that top level and then, and then moves down.